So the job we're going to look at in this video um, has been given to me as a PDF. I have information on two different sheets, one and two. It's for the left and right side of a bridge. And I'm going to, in takeoff, merge these into one sheet in the CAD software so I can get cut fill estimating from it. So what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to go over to Carlson Takeoff and I've already created a job, Road Job DWG and I'm going up to Tools, Import Export and I'm saying Import PDF File and I'm going to select that PDF file that I have also lo loaded in Adobe and say Open and in some cases we can bring that directly in as CAD line work in this example we're going to save it to image files and when it's as an image file as a dot, uh, BMP, a BIP image map we're going to be able to merge those together uh, if we insert it just as line work as is it's not going to be merged, it's going to be on two different sheets so I'm going to say save to image file and I'm going to give it a similar name to the job, just road job and say save. I'm going to save it as a monochrome image. So right now the program with GhostScript is converting it from a PDF to a raster image and you can see each page that it's doing. Okay, Load PDF, it's complete. So if I go to takeoff, which is the folder I saved my drawing in, um, you can see it's created two images uh, based off of that name I gave it. Okay, so here's image one and image two. Converted from the PDF into a bitmap image. Okay, so our next step is to merge those. So in takeoff, we have a raster pull down, and I'm going to go to merge raster files. I'm going to run that command. Ras merge, and it's going to say select left image, set left image. Okay and I'm going to go to a different folder here on my desktop take off road job one open and it's loaded that image that I just created and I can zoom in and check it out okay so I'm now going to do set right image and I'm going to pick on that second sheet. Now to merge these, if I zoom in here, and scroll over to the right side, So I don't the end of the image is right here, but I don't want to align it by just the both ends of these images. I want to align them and merge them by the match line that's provided. If I zoom in on this other road side of the bridge, uh, I can see I have a similar match line. So uh, what we do to merge these is is pick two control points on each image and the program will uh, align those, rotate by those two points and create one file. So the best thing I have to go off of, if I had any um, match points I could use those, but I have a line and then I have a road here that's, you can see this jobs in meters. 3.6 meters on this side and 4. Point meters on that side. If I zoom in here on the right image, I can see I have those same dimensions on this image. 
for our road. So I'm going to pick the common points in the road to merge it. So I'm just going to go to pick control point one and zoom in on this first image. And I'm going to pick at the 4.2 and the match line side of the road. Okay. Pick second control point. I'm going to pick the top side of this road. And I'm going to try to click right in the middle of that of that line work. Okay. So I have my two control points there. I want them to merge with this side of the road. So I'm going to say pick control point one. And I'm going to pick right here. And control point two is going to be right here. All right. And this will work on, on any two points. You now it doesn't matter how zoomed in they are. Um, it will align those correctly. If say these were images top and bottom of each other, that second point will allow the program to rotate it so it can match. So if you're going to merge files, they don't necessarily have to be to the left and right of each other. Um, any which way that they line up and match, um, you can pick the two control points to do that and the program will put them together. So after I've established these points, I'm just going to hit merge. And you can see the progress bar on the right go through and, and show me that the program is in fact creating one file for these two images. Now that the program has merged those two images, I can zoom in on the preview and see if I like the results. So I can uh, zoom in here and I can see the match line of the road there. And I can see how that road lines up. And it looks pretty good. It looks like it merged it pretty well. Uh, I can see not only the line, the road lines up, uh, but some of these other contour lines as well. Okay. If I like the results, I can say save image, and I'm going to call this road job um, merge, and hit save. Now that I've converted those two sheets into one image, I have three different options or three different methods I could use to get cut fill quantities for this job. One would be under Tools, Import Export, Import Raster to Vector. This will convert everything that's in our new merged image file into vectorized AutoCAD polylines. So that's in one swoop, it will convert everything. The other options would be under raster, if I were to draw this image um, onto the screen. So select, let's select our row job merge that we just created. And I'm going to say OK. And insert it onto the screen here. And I can see again our contour lines going across between the two sheets. So I could say under digitize, I could trace over the line work that's in the drawing. So let's say digitize contour polyline. I'm going to say OK to the defaults. Um, it looks like uh, this should be at elevation 10. And I can just pick a point and trace over this line work. You can see I can zoom in to pick as accurately as possible. And that would be one way I could go about um, converting this drawing, putting it into 3D for quantities. That would be digitized and doing on-screen digitizing. The other method would be to convert the image, um, the line work in the image into AutoCAD line work 
on an individual basis. So under raster, there's trace polyline. And I could, first it's saying select the image. So I pick on this image and I could say propose contour line. Okay, that's fine. And I'll pick on line work and it will convert that line as I pick on it. So right there, there's two different methods for converting line work. Um, getting line work that's in 3D for quantities, either digitizing it in or using the raster and converting the image into line work.